Night crews elsewhere working to get a handle on the wall fire. Get that one under control. What started as flames burning high above the treetops and filling the skies with smoke has now turned to ash and soot, leaving many with nothing. And still, firefighters say this battle is not over yet. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Adrian Moore. The fire is burning north of Bangor on Chinese Wall Road and below Highway 162. That's east of Highway 70, heading up to Oroville. Now, the fire has burned 5,600 acres and stands at 35% contained at this hour. 17 structures have been destroyed, five of them damaged, and mandatory evacuations are in effect. CBS 13's Angela Masalam joins us live now from the evacuation center where many are preparing to go home with two nothing I should say Angela yeah, Sam, Adrian, the wall fire ripped right through Richard Snelson's neighborhood this weekend. He's been staying here at the Church of the Nazarene with other evacuees who tell me they don't even know if their homes are still standing. I was just trying to see where there's more shade. Richard Snelson has been living in his RV for the last two days. He says he's pretty sure he lost his home to the wildfire. When I left, I could see that at least two of my neighbors' places went up before I left. Yeah. Richard says he only had enough time to pull out his RV and grab his dog. Flame the whole while. It like was like it was a horseshoe shape with the flame, just 50, 60 foot flame from wind. You couldn't believe it. Looking back, Richard says he regrets not leaving when the fire first started. He thought his home was in the clear. I'm lucky I got out with my dog and stuff. You know, I, didn't, I never did think a fire could move that fast. You know, I'm, I'm really lucky. Saturday was the worst of the fire, according to Cal Fire officials. Since then, the weather has calmed down and allowed firefighters to get a handle on the flames. We're really pushing hard today to establish those control lines, to try and push that containment uh, percentage up, and then try and get people back to their homes. That's the priority of the incident commander. It's what dozens of people at the evacuation center in Orville have been waiting for, including Linda Mason. I've had reports that it's still standing, and you know I know that they're. Excuse me. Linda almost lost her home in another wildfire last year. Thankful her home has escaped a fire twice. Linda says it's the people who lost their homes this time around who she's really worried about. The fire may have destroyed Richard's home, but he says he hasn't lost hope. Everybody will rebuild, though. Yeah, that's what we do as Americans. We help and. Pull together, rebuild. Now, CAL FIRE OFFICIALS HAVE DOWNGRADED SEVERAL EVACUATION ORDERS THIS AFTERNOON. THEY'RE ALLOWING PEOPLE LIVING IN THOSE AREAS TO RETURN HOME. FOR A LIST OF THOSE DOWNGRADED AREAS, PLEASE HEAD TO OUR WEBSITE, CBS13.COM. ALL RIGHT, ANGELA, I'M SOLEMN WITH THE PERSONAL STORIES FROM THE FIRE TONIGHT. THANKS SO MUCH. WE HAVE